Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of Al4C3 plus water, H2O, and that will produce or yield AlOH3 plus CH4. Now, I already wrote out our chart and all the elements in which they're broken down, but if you noticed, I grouped this into an OH, right? But I want you to say, this is a little trick, guys, okay? If you see that you have the hydroxide ion on the right-hand side, and if you have water, to make the balancing much easier, you can turn the water into HOH. The H is going to act for the hydrogens, and the OH is going to be your hydroxide. So I can break those ones down. Now, if I look at water as HOH instead of H2O, the balancing will get easier. Let's write out the numbers. I see that I have four aluminums, right? So I'm going to put a four here. I see that I have three carbons, so I put a three here. And then I'm breaking down water as H and OH. So for all of the hydrogens, right, I have one of those. And I have only one OH, so I'm going to put that. Coming over to my product side, I have aluminum, right, AL. But I have only one of them. There's no subscript, so I have one. The OH, which is the polyatomic, there's three total OHs. So where my OH is, I'm going to put a three there. I have one carbon, so I put a one. And then I have four hydrogen, so I put a four here. OK, all the numbers are all over the place. Let's see if we can balance them out. Doesn't matter which one you choose, just choose the one that looks the easiest for you. What I'm going to do is maybe I will balance the aluminums, right? I know that I have to take the smaller number and turn it into the larger number. One times what will get me to four? Well, one times four. And whatever number that you state is going to be the number that you put in the front. So one times four will get me to four. I'm going to put a four in front of that compound. But whatever you do, you have to play fair. You have to distribute between everybody in that compound. So the aluminums will change and the OHs. So now you have four alum aluminums and four times three is a total of 12 hydroxides, or OHs. OK, the aluminums are good. Let's try something else. Maybe let's do the carbons, right? I see that I have three on one side. I have one on the other. So it needs to be balanced. The smaller number is going to go to the bigger number. One times what will get me to three? One times three. And the number that you put is going to be the number that you place as the coefficient. So one times three will get me to three. And you gotta be fair. Whatever number you say, you have to distribute. So now I have three carbons, and now three times four is 12 hydrogens. Okay, we're almost there, right? Let's see, I now are down to the H and the OH. They're both 12, and I have only one here. One times what will get me to 12? One times 12. And that number is the number that I'm gonna put in the front. So if I just quickly just move this over, I have a 12 in the front, because one times 12 will get me to 12. But you gotta be fair, it's going to be distributed between the H and the OH. So I have 12 hydrogens, and I have 12 OHs. Now, if you want, you could turn this back into water by saying that it's plus 12 H2O, but it's the same exact idea, okay? So in this balanced equation, I have one Al4C3 plus 12 H2Os, and that will produce four aluminum hydroxides, AlOH3, and then plus three methanes, three CH4s. If this video helped you out, press the subscribe button and the like button. Just gets the word back to us that we're doing our job correctly. And I thank you so much for that. Keep studying hard, and I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.